Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. This sounds like it's about to be some family Watch tea. It. What's good, y'all? What's poppin'? AC Boy Christian, welcome to or back to my channel for today's video. We are going to be getting into some tipsy TikTok reactions. Number two, I almost said part two. We're on number two though. Y'all seem to really like the first one, so I'm gonna do another one for you. I'm gonna do another one for you. I'm actually, I really like doing the reactions. Uh, so we are streaming live on the Twitch right now. So go on ahead, come on over to the Twitch, twitch.tv slash Chris Ross Vlogs. If y'all wanna see us live, we go live practically every single day. All right, so come on over, come check us out, and come see what we got going on. All right. Um, also, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with your friends. If you didn't check out the last one, go ahead and check that out as well. And let's get into this tipsy TikTok reactions. Y'all go on ahead and say what's up to the YouTube and let's get it started, bro. Let's get it started. All right. Gee, bitches love being like, yeah, we're not the same, we're not the same. Of course we're not the same, love, you're a bum. I just seen a post on Facebook that was like, I think I'm too uh, young, but I never experienced the two men. I'm not too young, but it's like, I never experienced the two men because I was always the fat friend. And I'd be damned if a bitch playing my face because I'm quick to twist the bitch lips off like I'm twisting a fucking doorknob. Just exactly. Why is grown ass man? Bitch, I'm saying grown ass man like I'm not growing myself. But why this older man, he texted me, right? He gonna say, he gonna say, um, you're so gorgeous. I would love to get to know you. And I was kind of just reading it, but then my eyes went, ah, wooga. Because he <laughs> said, I'd even be your sugar daddy. Oh. Get you your coin then, sis. My what? Stay no more. Stay no more. Stay no more. Blew me because it's like, when are we going to start talking about the money? The conversation got boring fast as hell. And, and y'all already know my attention span is short. Y'all know me personally. When it comes to me talking to somebody, if you want to seriously get to know me, be yourself. Don't be on that corny cornball, corn man, corn on the cob ass shit. And what I mean by corny mm. cornball, corn man, corn on the cob ass shit is, don't be mentioning no sex. Don't be mentioning how much you got money. Don't be mentioning how you can fly me out and you're not going to deliver. I mean, you're not gonna deliver a sex Fair. period because it's like me personally, if you wanna be my man, but you trying to talk about how, oh yeah, I'm a munch, I'm this, I'm that, I'm not gonna take it serious, babe, you're a slut. Isn't it funny that black parents will charge you rent and then still expect you to follow some rules? Why the fuck my mama want me to start helping her pay rent, right? First off, she be lying about how much our rent is just because she want me to help. Gee, you don't have to fucking lie. Just say how much it costs. Damn. People in my family be thinking I'm just selfish because I'm finna start taking trips and shit. And True. I'm not helping my mom pay rent. But my thing is, first off, I just feel like you want me to have a curfew. And Facts. you want me to pay rent. Facts. Make it make sense. I'm not coming home at a certain time. Like, that's... Like, like, girl, what the fuck? That kind of pissed me off. You trying to tell your family, like, how you got so many plans and shit. And then they be kind of, like, hating. I feel like your family be wanting you to continue the cycle. If y'all needed an excuse or mm. y'all needed that little push to fucking chase your dreams or just, like, do what you see fit for your life, bitch, use me as that fucking ex it, Use me as that example. Whoever said that they 20s was a scam, you... You just, you just think it too hard. You think it too hard. I just seen this TikTok where this dude was like, I thought I was going to be living my 20s like the motherfuckers on Jersey Shore. What's stopping you? It's not even real. Like, true. It's like, that is true. This, uh, I'm so deluded. You can do whatever you want to do in your, in your 20s, especially for all my folks that are younger, bro. When you get to your 20s, bro, live it up. Live it up. Do what you want to do, bro. Don't let anybody tell you not to. Don't let anybody tell you no. Don't let anybody hold you back, bro, okay? Because you only are 20 once. Losing them. So if y'all want to follow what I say, do what you got to do. But hey. Yeah. It's like, it's like, bro, I don't even take life seriously. And as far as like, like, do I go to the doctor? You said, did you know by changing Shepard's language to German, he gets max stats? And like by all, cause a German Shepherd is man's best friend. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I fucked with that. I fucked with that. I fucked with that. Monthly checkups and shit. Like, uh, yeah. Do I take my health serious when it comes to my sexual health? Yeah, but like, as far as like, all right. Let's my see parents what booted me out at eighteen and left me homeless. Ten years Ooh. later, and they lost everything to twenty twenty bank. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. This sounds like it's about to be some family tea. So they broke into my home to squat while I was away. 
I'm a 30 year old male, and my parents didn't really want kids. I was an only child, and pretty much an accidental pregnancy from what relatives have told me as my parents claimed that they were going to be child free when they married. My Oof. childhood was initially good, but I think after I started growing out of the cute and adorable phase, my parents were less inclined to spend time with me. They both worked, and had their own business that they started together. That business was their life, and I was always second fiddle to it. Any other I close members of TikTok. family like my She's grandparents lived TikTok. states away, and I barely knew anything about them till I was an adult. So I had no other family around my entire childhood. I was practically raised by TV and my school teachers. Okay. My own birthdays by the time I became a teenager were often spent without my parents. Pause. How is this TikTok seven minutes long? Parents as they just give me some money and tell me. Or is that too and I'm tripping? To go out and buy whatever I wanted. It was more or less the same with Christmas, and sometimes even back to school shopping. We wouldn't have even had a Christmas tree after I turned 10 if it weren't for the fact I convinced my parents to buy a fake one I could build up and then take apart later every year. If I True. were to describe my parents, think of them as those people who always wear black, drink lots of wine, and look down their noses at people, and the l mm. You said you're in Israel, and for some reason TikTok is blocked there. Interesting. Last I saw of my wow, parents, I, they still weird. worked and acted the same way. They're, Although my I, they're, I mean, they were thinking about blocking it here, when too. I, turned 16, I, asked I feel like they just want to block TikTok everywhere. It's probably because it's they too no informative. I think that's like the that. problem. Might they be. may as well have just come right out and said they didn't want me there. After I but turned that's 18, crazy. TikTok is blocked in Israel. That's wild. They expected me to move out as soon as I was able. I was working part time because so I was like, still in high school. So, like, how do you guys? Do you guys? Are you guys like? Is there like and not long after an underground school, website you guys can go to to watch, or you guys like? You guys don't have TikTok. They didn't even help me move. Like, there's no I had to get help from a friend's dad who owns a truck. I ended up renting a car. Is this your bird? Like, is this I had no like, real life experience and no time for college? I guess what I'm trying then to say just a few months, do you guys have a way of my manager going on TikTok me, basically secretly? Or is like, it's not. It's like, it's cut. But I wasn't the like, only one like, the manager treated law. that way. I called corporate about it and so did a few other people. Corporate looked into the manager and they were soon fired for various reasons. Not many of which I actually know since it was mostly kept quiet. But someone told me theft of cigarettes was a part of it. And the manager was a chain smoker. Corporate refused to rehire me and only said that they'd changed the record to say I was laid off instead of terminated so my resume would still be clean. Damn. Guess they considered me damaged goods or something. I ended up going broke pretty fast because I was terrible at managing my own money and couldn't find steady employment. So I lost my apartment. I went back to my parents begging for help, but they refused to take me in. Not even for a little while to get back on my feet. I ended up homeless and living out of a tent in someone's backyard. In winter, mm. my friends had all moved on to college, some in other states, and I was a broke kid taking whatever work I could to stay alive. My salvation came when one of the neighbors of my parents found out. You I said some people use VPN to access it, but it's not important enough for me. I, I, I got that. I got that. I get that. For a little while, so I wouldn't freeze. Sometimes VPNs are like they're not complicated to, to use, but it's just out at the family. same time. It's like if I gotta go through all this just to do it, it's like I don't feel like doing it at that point. But they coughed up the info and gave me a list of contact details, and then told me not to bother them ever again. I called my grandparents from wow. my father's side of the family, and they were very surprised and happy to hear from me because they hadn't seen me since I was an infant. And I'm their only w grandparents, my grandparents at least, but wow, my L parents. flew me over to live with them as soon as they could. They basically adopted me. My parents didn't even see me off at the airport despite being invited to. I had zero contact with them for pretty much a decade. My grandparents said they despised my parents for treating me so poorly, and legally disowned them by striking them from their wills. My parents wow. are totally not happy to hear that but also said it didn't really matter because they were plenty well off and didn't need anything from my grandparents. How his, long that statement turned out to be. His parents are just assholes, bruh. Imagine, imagine being a rich, imagine being like, imagine being snobby and snooty to your own child. Like, oh yeah, well, <laughs> you're our son, but you're nothing compared to us, son. What? Why'd you have me? After about a Maybe y'all should have used some protection if you didn't want me. Year of living with my grandparents, I was able to afford to start going to community college. You said, "Nah, bro, I got assholes have a function." Degree, got a I'm decent weak. job, thanks to a recommendation. You said, "Those are grandpa. jerks." And eventually, nah, my grandparents real. offered to sell me their house so they could retire to Arizona. That's a funny ass joke. My grandma wanted to live in a warmer <laughs> climate. Assholes actually have a function. That's harder funny. And harder on her health every year. I was sad to see them go, That's but funny. I happily bought the house. <laughs> they sold it to me for one third its value, and I'll have it paid off in a few more years. My job is me going away on the road periodically, so I can end up away from home for weeks at a time. Not that I mind the travel. I have no pets or a girlfriend, or anything like that. I wouldn't have time for them right now, but in a few years when I have some things in order I'll make time. I don't want to stay a lonely bachelor forever. Then one day in late 2020 I came home after being away for over two weeks, only to find a large white van I did not recognize in my driveway. I was getting ready to call police when I noticed the van had the logo for my parents' business on the side of it, and oh? I felt dread. Yes my parents were there, they'd broken in somehow and were living out of my home. And nope. Yeah, police. 
Um, somebody just broke into my house. I have a white van here. Their business logo is painted on the side of it. Yeah. Is there any way somebody can come get uh come through and get these people out of my house? Thanks. All right. Bye. Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. What the fuck? You didn't even want me, and now you want to stay in my house? You said it's like when some streamers have a rule, don't be a dick. I'm like, shit, my personality is like a dick. I'm always up for a good time. <laughs> and they had the nerve okay, to see me you like got the buddy jokes. Slash buddy the moment I walked in. I told them to get the hell out, and they refused because it was grandma and grandpa's house. I see you house. got the jokes. I said it wasn't their house anymore. They'd sold it to me when they retired. They'd have known that if they were in any way involved with my life. But they threw me to the wolves 10 years prior with no life experience. We argued and they refused to leave. My father told me it was his parents' house first, and that meant he and my mother had the right to live there if they wanted. Hell I walked nah. right into my bedroom, locked the door and called the police. When the cops showed up they were of no help. My parents claimed to them that they had already been there long enough to have residency, which was a complete lie, but I had no cameras to prove they weren't there a month. My neighbors had no cameras either, so it was my word against my parents over how long they'd really been there, and they were claiming squatters' rights. They told police they had a verbal rental agreement with me, and that I was trying to illegally evict them for no reason. My mother even put on the waterworks when saying that. The police told me it was a family dispute, and to file eviction with the courts to get them out. And this was in 2020. Getting to court for anything took longer because of the pandemic. Meanwhile my parents are squatting in my house rent free and rubbing it in my face. From the information I got out of them, their business went bankrupt and they sold off almost everything they had to pay their debts. All they wow. had left was the van and a few personal belongings. So they expected to live in my house rent free for the foreseeable future. They were working too. Fuck Both of them soon got new jobs. My father as a delivery driver, my mother as a sales associate. They were making money, and the only things they contributed to was electricity and water utilities. Which was basically just handing me a $100 bill every month and saying I should be grateful they were paying me anything. Anytime I tried to discuss proper rent with them, they just said I owed it to them to live rent free because I took 18 years of their lives. And it's not like they were demanding the money back for that time. That's then threatened to stop helping with the utilities altogether. 18 years of your lives that you caused because you wanted to have sex without a condom. Dummies. Oh my god. I wish I could fight some people's parents. I was for so them. at my wits end that I ended up calling my grandparents to explain the situation to them. They were very unhappy and spoke with my parents. But my parents still said they had the right to stay in my home and refused to budge. My grandpa told me he was sorry it had come to this, and that if they hadn't sold me the house, my parents wouldn't have invaded. I told him not to worry. I'd already filed for a legal eviction, and would get it soon enough, and my parents already knew that they were on borrowed time. I made sure to say that in earshot of my parents too. They responded with the silent treatment. My father was away most of the time driving a delivery vehicle six days a week, good, which was good a job really not to his liking, and my mother basically tried to take over my house in her spare time. She demanded I let her rearrange my living room, and nope. even tried to force me to give her and my father the master bedroom, because nope. they were my parents, and they deserved better, as she put it. I vetoed both of those things and said they don't deserve better, and to stop trying to act like I owe them anything. I didn't ask right. to be born, and it's a normal obligation for parents exactly. to raise their own children, and all they were doing was trying to assert dominance to try and keep me from kicking them out. Finally, after four months and now into early 2021, I managed to take my parents to court over their squatting. We only needed to go to court because they fought the eviction and tried to gaslight me into rescinding it. They tried to use the fact it was formerly my grandparents' house, and the fact that they were giving me $100 a month as some sort of leverage of residency, but there was no real rental agreement, and they were smart enough not to try and forge one as that would have been fraud. So the judge ordered that they needed to be out in a maximum of 30 days because they have zero claim on my house. After Period. court they confronted me and said they were disappointed in me for kicking out my own flesh and blood. I couldn't help but laugh and call them hypocrites because that's exactly what they did to me without a care in the world for my well-being. Yep. They have no love for me, so I have no love for them. I yep. owe them nothing. They just yep. tried to act like everything that was mine is theirs. But yep. they have no right to call themselves my parents because they've never really acted like it. I called yep. them a pair of snobby lying narcissists to their faces and told them to get their affairs in order. Because they already know I won't hesitate to call police if they don't leave my house when the 30 days are over. My father looked enraged, but my mother stopped him from saying or doing anything by grabbing his shoulder and shaking her head. He sneered at me and walked away. They left, but not without said, a lot of tension. Um, that final month was spent with them either guilting me to try and make- You said you used to have a problem uh, with your stepdad just showing up at your house and walking in, uh, and you did what's called a pro gamer move. What'd you do? Make me change my mind, or completely ignoring me. I put up a calendar in the living room and checked- you adopt, he adopted a retired police canine. Don't That's fine. Before they had to leave with a red marker. And the exact That's day they were to be out was marked with a big red circle. I still remember that final day was March 2nd. My parents like, waited until it, the exact bitch. day they had to leave Break my home it. for good before they finally left. Even when all their stuff was out of the house and they were sleeping on the floor in the guest room for a few days. Since they were so convinced they could make me let them stay, they didn't bother to try and look for an apartment until after the court eviction went through. And my Dummies. mother spent weeks scrambling to find an apartment. They had to get a tiny and crappy studio apartment in the next city over because it was the only thing they could find on such short notice. A lot like what I had to do when I was 18. Yep. Quite ironic. My parents... Oh! Oh! A lot like I had to do when I was 18. Quite ironic. Eight. Eight that. Eight that. Ooh! 
you ate that. You said the damn dog is smarter than you are? No, for real, bruh. They probably be knowing how to open doors, turn on the AC, open the fridge and shit. See, I couldn't do all that. Just give me a normal little puggy. And we gonna be good to go. Yo, New York City, you getting me so tight. Like, at this point, I gotta go. I got to go. I gotta go. I just got up the train from fighting this woman. So I get off of work. I get on the train. I hate that voice filter. What is this? I'm not gonna watch this long ass video. Hey, what's up, TikTok? Some of you might recognize me as Zeke from Disney Channel's Wizards. Blood, who has you done brought us to today, Shirley? Here we go. Shirley, this what we gonna eat at today. This is supposed to be Spongebob's Jesus. Jesus. Listen, you, don't don't you don't care. You don't care what you eat, but your daddy care. Because I know damn well them ain't that? no Doritos and pie crusts. So okay. you got two crusts. Child, you might have went ahead and eat some damn Popeye biscuits. Look, 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 look. And why you didn't cook that, uh, cook them onions with the hamburger meat or cook the onions before the hamburger meat, then put the hamburger meat in there? Child, y'all stomach is going. I sure hope y'all made reservation by somebody's toilet. Let's sit here and put this damn hamburger meat on top of this pie crust and Doritos. Look, 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 look. Why you just didn't leave the sauce in the bowl? Put the meat in the separate bowl for the people. Talk about this is a great party thing. This ain't, this is not no party shit. Y'all must be having a party at the bathroom. Look, 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 look. Here we go with this cheese. Look, 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 look. I'm, I'm, I'm trusting the process. Ooh, girl, y'all stomach is gonna have a time, baby. Look, 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 look. Lord, now she put some more of these dry ass Doritos up here. Fix it, Jesus. Girl, this about dry as Popeye biscuits, I bet. Look, 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 look. 400 degrees, you put it in the oven. Shit, for 20 minutes, baby, you ain't need them warmed up the top of them damn Doritos. Like a puff tin shit. Look, 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 look. Fix the Look, 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 Girl, stop that like Lord. It don't look bad. I was at my mom's wedding. Oh, here we my go. I'm one my of these. dad and I when I wasn't even a year old. I'm 22 now and my dad raised me alone until I was 13. Like that, not he then found his soulmate and bad. her when I was 15. My dad did an amazing job all those that's, years that's when we were I'm just saying. by ourselves and found the most amazing woman, my stepmom, when I started needing a motherly role model in my life. I started working at the age of 16 to save money and get life experience to someday pay my dad back to thank him. When I turned 18 I became curious and wanted to know who my birth mother was, what she looked like and what her personality was like. I asked my dad for her name and I did some research. I found her on Facebook and she seemed to live a normal life. Okay. I found out that she has two children and a golden retriever. I thought about sending her FB message but I didn't. Huh, that's what I'm working just in service about to support retreaters. myself during university. I work at a restaurant in an old building outside the city where weddings are often celebrated. This was also the case two weeks ago. I took care of the bar and just before the ceremony started I read the bride's name for the first time. I was a bartender at my own mother's wedding. It was a beautiful celebration. The guests and the bride and groom were exuberant and in a great mood. The speeches were emotional. Oh, shit. The first dance was touching and the bridal couple looked so happy and at peace with themselves. I spoke to many guests on that Imagine evening. hooking up with your the mom by accident, y'all don't even know time. each other, and it just they happens? That's crazy. Years ago. Hell During nah. that time. My mother was depressed and had a drinking problem. He got her out of a hole, got her a job, that and made sure wild, she got bro. her life back on track. He never left her side during the past 21 years and proposed to her on their 20th anniversary. The groom was incredibly nice, thanked me and gave me and all my colleagues a huge tip. He seems like a really good guy and he seems to make my mother very happy. I also met my half-siblings. One of them is 16 and the other one is 12. Two very well-behaved handsome young boys. The older one has the same birthmark as I do. 
a little darker spot on the chin. I wore makeup so mine wasn't noticeable. I've been thinking about contacting her just to let her know I don't have any hard feelings towards I her and that I'm should. happy for her and glad she has a happy and healthy life. And that she can reach out to me if she wants but it's okay if she doesn't then I won't bother her. FYI I'm saying mother in this post because it's easier to understand. I don't really see her as my mother. She's my birth giver and bio mother but my stepmother will always be my real mom. I was at my mom's wedding. My mom left my dad and I when I wasn't even a year Jessica old. Chomp I'm 22 now and my dad like raised me Mass alone Effect. until I was 13. <laughs> he then found his soulmate. The old woman gave birth to 12 daughters uglier than ducks. The sound of their chattering. Every day, the old woman was tormented like a magic sound through her head. One day, she finally couldn't take it anymore. She shouted frantically and begged God to turn them into cold crows. Get out of here as far as you can. But as soon as the words left her mouth, 12 girls turned into crows and flew out and almost blinded the old woman's eyes. 12 crows soon flew to the sky and... I don't know what the hell Disney is going on there. As an Am I the bad guy for ignoring my mom asking me to get involved with her new family after I got rich? My mom left my dad Damn. when I was 17 and had a new boyfriend literally you straight said Diana, away. Uh, we all suspected Alex, that she was cheating with IG this dude beforehand, but there was Jessica never any proof okay, 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 gotcha, 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 gotcha. to admit it. She had two more kids like, with this guy. When my mom and dad and broke I was up, like, I moved out to live with I my know, dad who had moved back in with his parents. <laughs> the major reason for this was because she told me to leave as I kept fighting with her new dude. I really did not want to deal with a new guy in my mom's life and I was really upset that she didn't give a darn about how much pain my dad was in. When Fair. she told me to leave, something in me changed and I am still unable to forgive her. That solidified because my 14-year-old sister stayed with my mom for a year and then begged to come and live with my dad because she hated it so much at my mom's place. And Damn. my sister and mom were close so for my sister to feel that way it must have been bad. Since I was 18 my grandparents kept pushing me to start a business because I liked to tinker and had built a few specialized tools for a niche construction industry that my dad was in and they saw potential in me. They gave me a lot of money as an investment. Actually, they remortgaged their house. That's much they believed in me. And basically, I majorly lucked out and managed to land some national contracts at 24 that turned into more than a few millions of dollars over a few months when the business boomed. The Holy profit shit. trajectory has risen since then and basically, I'm living a life I never thought would be for a dude like me. Well, now that I'm rich, my mom found out and has been hounding me for money. Finally, I snapped. And what happened you next said you made her want to file in for the next Mass Effect? Am I the bad the guy for ignoring my mom asking me to get involved That's basically me right now. <laughs> Am I the what? bad guy I for part ignoring two, my mom part asking two, me to get involved with her new family after I got rich? My mom left my dad when I was 17 and had a new boy. Where's part two? Am I the bad guy Hurry for up. ignoring my mom asking me to get involved with her new and family after, this after one we I got rich? In the stream. I started a company that is now worth millions of dollars. I am only 24. My sister and I had a falling out with my mom years ago and now that I'm rich she all of a sudden is hounding me for money. I moved Hell my dad, nah. sister, and grandparents out to the east coast a couple years back and we've started a new life. I am surrounded by people who see and saw the best in me and I'm grateful so much because I was seriously messed up after my mom blew our family apart. For the last couple years or so my mom has been on my case to reunite with her. She is nah, getting increasingly cool. more insistent that I go visit her and her boyfriend and kids and keeps trying to guilt trip me because my nah, sister has cool. a much more privileged life now and my younger two half siblings don't. She keeps telling me that even if I don't forgive her I should look out for the kids as they're innocent and all this. Basically that's her way of trying to guilt me into providing money for her household since I, I have to do that neither. But after a lot of her hounding, I finally snapped. I went off on her telling her what she did years ago and how she doesn't deserve a dime. Her Period. husband stepped in and things got physical. He is a much bigger dude than me so I didn't stand a chance. This caused some tension in their marriage which is not my fault. Regardless of this, day to day I have no interest in helping her or her family. Yeah, I would have never opinion, helped. At that point, the dad fucked it up. But the guilt eats me alive sometimes. I just can't forgive her though. And her husband is a tool. Am I the bad guy for ignoring my mom asking me? Listen, bruh. At that point, the dad ruined it by putting his hands on you. Your stepdad ruined it by putting his hands on you. Fuck that. You ain't getting a dime out of me, motherfucker. Any chance you had, any sort of sympathy you had, any sort of empathy you had is gone. Deuces. Fuck all of that. And with that being said, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Thank you guys for watching, bro. Uh, don't forget to catch this on the YouTube. For those of y'all that watch this on the Twitch, YouTube.com slash Chris Pross Vlogs. Those of you guys that are watching on YouTube, come over here and join us on the Twitch, twitch.tv slash Chris Pross Vlogs. And I will see y'all in the next TikTok tipsy reaction. Peace.
Uh, bitches beat his heart, so I pop my shit up on it. Your girl, she jock watching, says she wanna get up on me. She told me don't say nothing, or her boyfriend will start calling. I said, baby girl, it's good, I'm really good at solving problems. Told